And the reason I don't like this powder, <laughs> you see that? Oh, I showed the name of the brand. <laughs> it doesn't close. channel so for today's video I am going to be doing my makeup not just any makeup I'm going to be recreating Vanessa Hudgens makeup look so that's the look I'm gonna go for she has like a smoky cat eye a nude lip it's Friday and I want to look good I feel like I should start with the eyes because I'm more than likely to mess up you know what? Let's do skin and face first, and then we'll do the eyes. And if I mess up, and it messes up all my foundation and everything, oh well, that's life. So yeah, I'm just using a primer that has a tint. And this one works for me because it stays matte longer than any other primer that I've tried. I'm not gonna be showing any of the products I'm gonna be using in this video. I just wanna do my makeup and have fun. And everybody, has different skin types and you know just use whatever works for you i'm using what works for me let's do this okay now that i have my foundation on i'm going to do concealer and i'm going to do a lighter shade of concealer so that i can highlight lighter concealer here and my chin i feel like she does definitely look lighter here that looks about right. I look, I look highlighted, right? Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and everywhere else that I just put concealer. I bought this new powder. The reason I don't like this powder, <laughs> you see that? Oh, I showed the name of the brand. <laughs> it doesn't close. No matter how hard I seal this thing and how many different techniques, it doesn't close. And the powder just seeps through and it's all over my makeup bag and it's all over my pants and my shirt and my phone and the counter. And it's just everywhere. It just like doesn't close. <laughs> no, no. Okay, that's the bronzer. 
Now I'm gonna dust off my under eye powder. Okay, there's that. She looks really glowy, so we're gonna do some highlight. lashes they bother my eyes I'm blind for like a whole hour until my eyes adjust I'm gonna do my brows now which first I do some brow gel it's a clear brow gel and I comb my brow hairs first so I comb opposite or against my brow hairs so that way the gel really gets in there and covers where I comb every brow hair and then I comb it up and then they stay in place all day, which is great. On the other side. Wait, just kidding. No, I'm not because then it's gonna dry and it's gonna become hard. And I like to work on it while it's a little bit wet. So now I'm gonna grab my dark brown powder and I'm going to do my brows. Okay, so we have skin, check. Brows, check. Now we gotta do my eyes. Yeah, it's legit just eyeliner. So she just has a little bit more darkness and smokiness going on in the outer corner of her eye. So let's do that. Bam, that's good. Good, good, good enough. Now, so what I think I'm gonna do first is using black eyeshadow, no. I'm gonna start with a light, no. <laughs> Let me start with a brown, like a medium brown type of eyeshadow to first outline the eyeliner. Um, so that way when I do go in with the black, the chances of me messing up are lower because I already kind of have something to trace over and I can work on evening them out, getting them nice and even with the brown eyeshadow first before we do the black. Yes, I think that's a great idea, Nicole. And I'm gonna use a angled brush. So the way I'm gonna do this is looking straight into my mirror so that way I know what the eyeliner is gonna look like with my eyes open and looking forward as opposed to with my eyes closed or looking down and then I look up and it doesn't look the same. So I'm gonna start with looking into my mirror. My camera died, I'm bad. I went, I did my hair, just blow dried it straight and I also went ahead and did both eyes with the brown eyeshadow. So this is what it's looking like so far. This was not easy. I struggled. I erased this eye twice. What I did is I got a little bit of foundation on my finger and I dabbed it over, erased the brown eyeshadow because brushing it out with some powder and all that was not working. So that was a little bit of a disaster, but I got it a little bit more under control and yeah, they're nice and even. So now what I'm gonna do is with my same angled brush that I was using for the brown eyeshadow, I'm gonna go in and do an eyeliner pencil just so that I can darken up the wing that I just did with the brown so then I can go over it with a liquid eyeliner and then that will be the final step to this eyeliner look. Here we go. Now I'm gonna go in with a liquid pencil. I'm gonna use a I think I extended it a little bit too long because her inner corner is not that sharp. It's like shorter and smudgier, but whatever. I already did it. There's no taking that back. So that's what it looks like. Now the other eye. Okay, now 
theater corner. Who do you want me to do next? Who should I do next? 